So this is the paper drying process. Um, as you can kind of tell already, that's getting kind of light at the bottom. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit. You can see like it's getting kind of ow, kind of light like right in here. It's not from the light, <laughs> but uh, it's still pretty thick though. So this is definitely gonna take a little bit. And the mini space heater that is actually really great for these kind of projects. At least it is for me. Because <laughs> it helps... <clears throat> it helps with the dry, the dry time and stuff like that. But at the moment, I have rags and old shirts just stacking it up. More specifically, I have a rag and a ton of old shirts stacking up my... Ta-da! Artboard! Um, obviously, I did move it. I did move these pa the papers to a dryer rag. It's actually... It's actually my best friend's rag. He, uh, he used to go to the gym a lot, and he actually left this one behind before he moved. So, a little sad, but at least I have something to remember him by. Besides all the random jokes and crazy things we've done good crazy not bad crazy but um yeah it, it's gonna take a little bit but it's not uh i really don't i don't really know how far that would be it's only a few inches away from it but with the heat it's actually i can still feel it even up to here oh wait no yeah i can still feel it from all the way to the top piece but it's also how you position it too like angle is great it's actually a nice slant <laughs> i try to keep the the board right in the crack piece because this actually helps it prop up some but um it's all about angling kind of with this part i'm just surprised on how much this is already drying it is still kind of patchy in some sections but as things go on i'm just going to kind of show you guys like it's blowing from there, so this part's going to get dried up as well, on top of... <clears throat> Ugh. I always feel like I have sawdust in my throat every time I go to start a video. Mm. A little bit better. Um, also, while the paper is drying, sometimes if you're lucky enough, you can actually reuse the paper towels that you're using on your first round. That's actually what I have in that box down there. Look at all my trash. Because that is from last time, or my last paper run. So they, you can actually reuse the same paper towels uh, twice. So you, you use it for this round, and the next round you can do it again. And then after that, it's... Eh, they get a, like... You know there's no coming back from it because then it like, absorbs more moisture than last time, kind of. Yeah, that's a great thing. But it it also takes a lot longer to dry. I found, that, I found that out the hard way when I went to go do it again. So I could save on paper towels instead of going through an entire... <sighs> I think the last time it was like I went through two rolls of paper towels and... Oh wow, I don't really have one really except for that. Because that's brand new. Like that is a brand spanking new one. I went through two of those just doing a whole paper run. But this was a thing. That's not going to stay much longer, thankfully. But I just want to kind of show you guys this. And when you touch it, it's going to feel warm. Because this, I did this this morning. I did this a little bit after I woke up. <clears throat> so for me to... Well, for me, I like to do it as soon as I wake up and then do my normal routine throughout the day, which I don't really have a routine really, but, you know, daily house stuff, you know, vacuum the floor, do some dishes, fix up the beds, you know, little stuff like that. And then before I go to bed is when I turn everything off and stuff like that, but I always keep an eye on the paper and check it throughout the day, kind of to see like how far along the drying is this. Like I said, this is probably going to take a few days, or at least for this piece alone, it's going to take a few days because obviously that is 
that is thicker than a brick. That 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 is thick. <laughs> so that that's going to take a little bit longer. But also after a certain mm, excuse me. Hi Duncan. Hi. Hold on. I have to interrupt this for cuteness. Hi BB. <laughs> Duncan, are you the king of the castle? Say hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan, are you my king beauty? <laughs> I swear he... Mm. You mommy's king beauty. Anyway. <laughs> I had to interrupt our regularly scheduled program for a small injection of... Aww. Anyway. But I did, like this, this is going to take a little bit. But this actually produces a nice chunky heat. Um... Oh, I thought it would have the wattage on the side, like on here, but it doesn't. Yeah, well, I'm not kind of happy with that. But uh, if you do have like errands to run, like outside of the house kind of thing, I would heavily suggest <clears throat> uh, turning off the heater kind of thing. Me with my paranoia, I don't really trust leaving a heater on if I'm not home because I don't want to run that possible risk of burning down the house so that's just me paranoia or like if I'm gonna take a nap kind of thing I'll turn it off too but again that's just my paranoia <laughs> I don't really trust leaving heaters on throughout the night unless you know I, I like you know I trust trust the place but I don't did I don't I don't really want to start a fire in the house so I tend to turn all that off but like whatever like from when you wake up to when you go to bed that's generally what I do for this because I wake up kind of early ish kind of as of late I've been getting up around 9 30 10 o'clock so from there until 11 about 11 at night is when I turn it off because that's about the time I start getting kind of ready for bed. But there, it, it's a nice time span. If you wake up earlier kind of thing, that, again, also great. <laughs> but it just, like, it helps out through. And also with the heater being this kind of close, it also dries up the, um, the paper towels, too, so you can reuse it for your next go-around. Just don't have it too close or it will kind of start... Excuse you. Any, I know, donkey. You heard that too. Anyway, I, I wouldn't have. I won't. Blah, 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 nah. I would hardcore suggest not to have the heater too close because it will start to like discolor the uh, paper towels just a little bit. If it happens on this run, I'll definitely show you guys. Because I don't think it happened on my last go around when I did the. I think it was 50 pages I did the last time, I believe. I can't. Can't really remember right off. I, I did a really nice. I did a nice chunk to where it took me about. Uh, if I didn't take breaks, I think it would have been two weeks worth. Of just non-stop doing paper. I did a really big batch. I kind of regretted it a little bit halfway through. But I'm kind of glad I did though. But um, but th this is the setup for this for the now. And then rolling over here. I have the new backboard. Or the back pieces. Which is just the old... The old cabinet doors that I did, that I glued down. This is going to take me, this is going to take 24 hours to dry because I did do this this morning. I did this, I think it was at 11 today, maybe 12, somewhere around in there. So this is going to take until tomorrow afternoon, roughly. But it, it uh, it's definitely drying up fairly. But this is going to be my replacement for all of those. <laughs> so I can use those how they're supposed to be used, which is dividing the paper as I'm making them. 
well, it's how I was making them. At this point, they're just hand rags to me because, like I showed in the other video, or in the last video, is that I do the medium and the small on the same piece of paper. Or on the, um, on the same paper towel. So that is a thing. So, but this is definitely, once this is dried up and stuff like that, I'm gonna use that as the backing for the paper and stuff like that so I have it a little bit higher kind of thing instead of constantly fighting and trying to get all of the rags put together and like stay in one stack kind of thing which I did have a problem at one point with that I still kind of do have a problem with it sometimes because sometimes they just want to like either go further in or flop over so it's nah. I didn't want to keep fighting with it I kind of don't want to keep fighting with it so I decided to uh, make this instead. Which, again, is something that's been on my listing of things to do, but now <laughs> I'm kind of taking this a little bit more seriously to an extent. I kind of want to have things a little bit more official. And then I'm going to slide my butt over here. <laughs> and I added both of the... I added the top part to the paper press, and that... That's really it. It kind of, it still jams a little bit on this side, but it's not as bad. And all I did was just put the, uh, the washer and the wing nuts on. That's all I really did. But as it goes, like, as, uh, as the paper is done drying, I can just loosen both of these up. Oh, oh my. I'm going to have to slide that more on my leg. Eee. Can't slide it fast enough. Eee. It's hard doing it with one hand. I do have a slight problem with this side a little bit. At least I did try to get it down. Let's see if I can do it with one hand, which I kind of can. Ah. But you get the point. It lifts up. And then once you get your paper situated inside, then you can just slide everything back down. And with me putting the, um, eh, the soft Velcro pieces, the plushy side of it, it also helps actually a lot better than I was expecting it to. But for it to, for the wood not to stick in these spots while... It's being pressed down. The bottom is kind of loose for how... Because I made the bottom holes a little bit bigger. Because they just... They were jamming so much. Like, it, it got to the point that I just... I couldn't really get them off. Like, I had to screw these out. So I could re-drill the holes a little bit. So they could be slightly bigger. And then... With the with them being locked in on the top part, you don't really have to worry about the bottom ones falling out. There are it is gonna be on the table anyway. <sighs> it is gonna be end up being on this table anyway. These are more things to shred. <laughs> Ignore that. But they are probably the paper press is gonna end up being on this table anyway, so it's I don't have to worry about the bolts falling out or something like that. It's like, oh, well, there goes a bolt. Got to reposition this. And no, I don't have to really worry about that. So, haha. -ha. So far, so good for progresses. And I'm going to end up squishing those down later. Because I have a whole thingy down there for specific cardboard. Or for specifically cardboard. Which I showed you guys in the paper shredding section of this all. But... This guy is drying. That pretty thing is set up and ready to go. And these guys, like I said, it, this is, like I said, this is going to take a few days to dry. At least for the really thick one. I kind of re... <clears throat> renegotiated re with myself. So I might find... I might use the leftover paper pulp. And do something else with it instead of this. I'm not too sure just yet on what it's going to be. But I, I do know I want to 
I'm gonna end up doing something a little bit different with the excess paper pulp. That, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be doing that, like, that idea just yet. I might, uh, depending on how things go soon, I might just wait until, like, Christmas time and do, and get, like, a somewhat big thing of paper, paper cutters, oh my cridles, <laughs> cookie cutters, <laughs> and kind of fill them up with the extra paper pulp, but I'm not too sure just yet, it's still, it, it's, it's still in the middle kind of thing, I know I'm not gonna really need to do any more paper for a while, which, once I put these in the paper press, once they're all dried up and stuff like that, I will definitely show you guys the stack of what I have at the moment in the yellow tub but um yeah I just want to give you guys a small update uh once the paper gets lighter I will definitely show you guys that <clears throat> and that might possibly be the last video for this series actually again I'm kind of surprised on how what's up Bubby Duncan Duncan, I know that look. Duncan. Did you see a bird? Because you're not going to throw paws at a cat. That is some bow hockey. Duncan. You might want to calm your little butt. You might want to calm your little butt. He saw something that got him happy. It might have been a bird. <laughs> something woke him up out of a dead snore for him to go, What is that? Don't throw paws, buddy. That that's not cool. We make friends, not enemies. <laughs> I swear, Duncan is my child sometimes. <laughs> but um, I like I that was pretty much the main point of this video, is that I wanted to show you guys the little, the drying station, basically how the paper table is set up. I am probably gonna end up. Nah, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I was thinking I'm probably gonna end up putting like a cloth or something over this so it can like absorb the water and like the excess just in case if I flip some out of there like I did the last video. I'm like, oops, it easy. But I'm not gonna be able to take it off again, so I'm just gonna leave the table as is. But I just wanted to show you the stages of the paper table and then show you guys that I have the new backing going. Ooh, excuse me. That I have the <clears throat> the uh I really don't know what to call it. I guess the block. It, it's a block. It, it it's a block. There's there's no denying it. It's it, it's the new block. But I have that drying, so I'll be ready and set for tomorrow. And that I got this part set up, and this will be hot and ready, round to go. For when the paper is done with. Haha, -ha, victory! I still have a ton more, so it is okay. <laughs> I'm probably gonna wait off a little bit before I make even more paper and all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, it is a very simple and actually really relaxing process. <laughs> Especially if you have classical jazz playing in the background, it is just... Ah, uh, pure bliss. But uh, until then, I will see you guys in the next round. Well, the final video when this gets more dried. When it gets drier, that will be my last video. So you guys can see like when to peel it up and stuff like that. It may not be with this piece. I may actually flip it over to get the bottom sides done. But it, it we'll see. But until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Toodles.